What is up, Karatex? Welcome back to my top 10 series. In this one, we're going to be discussing the top 10 sleeper cars in GTA Online, in my opinion. For those of you who don't know what a sleeper car is in the car world, it's basically a car that looks normal, but is actually a very fast car, very unassuming, therefore definition of a sleeper car. And to clarify, this will not include HSW vehicles, just so that it's a bit more fair. And of course, it will also not include motorcycles, special vehicles, rocket-powered vehicles, etc. And of course, the speeds and performance of these cars referenced is with them having max internal upgrades as usual. But anyways, starting off with number 10, we have the Camacho. So this truck released with the Doomsday Heist update in 2018 for a price of only 345000 and is an incredible off-roader with fantastic acceleration and a very respectable top speed at about 117 miles an hour, which is actually a similar top speed to a lot of mid-tier sports cars, and it's actually faster around most racetracks than some mid-tier sports cars as well, which is just crazy to think about. And not to mention, it's also one of the quickest off-roaders of the game, by looking at this thing, you would never think it has sports car performance on road and top tier performance off road as well. Just a fantastic truck and a hell of a sleeper. Continuing to number 9, we have the Calico GTF. So this car released with the tuners update in 2021 with a normal price of just under 2 million. So pretty pricey and I know it is the king of most tuner races. But if you weren't too much into the racing community in GTA, if we just look at the stats of this car, this thing is insane. It has insanely good acceleration, good handling, and an insane top speed at about 121 miles per hour, which literally rivals most supercars. For reference, this thing has the same top speed as the Tempesta, which of course is mainly based on the Lambo Huracan, and remember that the Calico is based on a Toyota Celica. I mean, it, <laughs> I just think it's hilarious how brutally fast this car is. Moving on to number 8, we have the Dominator ASP. So this car released with the Tuners update in 2021 with a normal price of just under 1.8 million. This thing is still in top 5 in the muscle car class around most tracks, which you would never expect from an older Mustang. And what's most impressive is the handling. This thing literally handles like a sports car and has very respectable top speed as well of 119 miles per hour. This thing is just an absolute sleeper considering the way it looks and performs. Next up on to number 7 we have the Yosemite. So this truck released with the Doomsday Heist update in 2017 with a price of just under 500000 It's in the muscle car class and is an absolute beast in terms of handling and acceleration. This thing actually used to be the king of the muscle car class for a while in regards to track performance, and even today, it's still in top 10 for most tracks. For reference, this thing gets similar lap times to an OG Coquette or Banshee, which I think is super impressive. This thing is a sleeper for sure, considering it just looks like a random old truck. Continuing to number 6, we have the Pagali. So this car released with the Hipster update all the way back in 2014 with a price of 400000 However, it was sadly a removed website car. But this thing has a top speed of over 121 miles per hour, which is just insane considering how this car looks and how old it is. You would never expect it to be that fast. And just like the reference I made with the Calico that has the same top speed, that's the same speed as the Tempesta. Just incredible. Plus, considering this is a front-wheel drive car, it has pretty good handling, all things considering. Just, Pagali is just ultimate sleeper in the Sports Classics class for sure. Moving on to number 5, we have the BF Club. This little car released with the 2020 Summer Update with a normal price of just under $1.3 this thing is based on a little VW Golf, and you would never expect this thing to be as quick as it is. It's pretty much a sports car in the compacts class. It handles like it's glued to the ground with great acceleration and decent top speed, especially for the compacts class. It has no business handling and accelerating as fast as it does, and I absolutely love it because of that. 
highly recommend this one. Next up on to number 4 we have the Pizwazer Dominator. So this car was made available for purchase in 2016 with the Cunning Stunts update and is currently free for all players. So this thing is literally just a street dominator with a livery thrown on it, however the internal performance mods are significantly boosted compared to a normal one, it's not a little bit of a boost, it's a big boost giving this thing a top speed of over 126 miles per hour which is just insane for a muscle car for reference this thing literally has the same top speed as the Nero in game which of course is based on the Bugatti Chiron and not to mention this car can beat most of the supercars in a straight line given a long enough road absolute beast and one heck of a sleeper for sure Continuing to number 3, we have the Albany VSTR. So this car was added with a casino update drip feed in 2020 with a price of just under 1.3 million. And just like the Pizwads or Dominator, this car has a top speed of over 126 miles per hour, which again is pretty much the same top speed as the Nero. Now this car is based on a performance Cadillac, the CTSV. But even in real life, it's a sleeper. If you don't really know what you're looking at or what it is, most people just think it's a random Cadillac sedan, and they don't expect it to be as fast as it is. And in GTA, the fact that it can keep up with and even beat most of the supercars on a straight line is just very impressive. Definitely not Grandpa's Cadillac. <laughs> Moving on to number two, we have the Shafter V12. This car was added with the Executives and Other Criminals update in 2015 with a price of only 116000 This car pretty much looks the same as the regular Shafter but with some styling elements from the sportier Schwarzer in game. And with its cheap price you would never think it's anything special and oh boy is this car impressive. It has an insanely good exhaust note and a top speed of over 124 miles per hour which is just insane. Literally supercar top speed for only a hundred thousand dollars and the look of an OG street car This is the ultimate sleeper in GTA line in my opinion, but not quite number one So what is the number one sleeper car in GTA line in my opinion? That is the weevil custom which was just recently added with the criminal enterprises update last year with a base price of about 1.8 million when factoring in the Benny's upgrade and no, it's not some overpriced hot rod slash rat rod with just customization and styling as its main strengths, as with most Benny's cars. This thing has a crazy top speed of 137.5 miles per hour, which is faster than every supercar, excluding HSW. It's faster than the Pariah, and it's pretty much the fastest normal car in the game, not factoring in HSW, rocket powered cars, bikes, etc. I mean, imagine you buy a brand new Emerus or Krieger and you get smoked by a VW Beetle Rat Rod. I think it's absolutely hilarious and that's why I personally think it 100% deserves the number one spot. But anyways guys, there you have it, the top 10 sleeper cars in GT Online in my personal opinion. Definitely let me know down below in the comments what cars you guys think are also good sleeper cars in GT Online and also what other top 10 videos you guys would like to see me do next. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.